This is going to be a simple demonstration of the different microphones that we have available to us when designing a conferencing room. We have four different kind of microphones, the first being a gooseneck desk mounted microphone. We have a boundary microphone that's sitting on the table. We have a hanging microphone and we have a microphone that is mounted into a ceiling tile um, flush to the tile itself. Um, right now you are hearing me through the MX412 DC from Sure. that's our gooseneck mount microphone. This microphone is approximately one and a half feet away from me and it is a directional cardioid microphone. I'm going to switch this over now to the boundary microphone which is sitting on the, uh, the table. This is a MX391 slash C, again a cardioid directional microphone. I have it placed about halfway between this chair and the chair that is to my left. Typically when we do installs with uh, boundary microphones they're picking up more than one person so you would not have it right directly in front of you necessarily. Um, this microphone is approximately two and a half feet away from me and again it is a, a cardioid directional microphone. I'm going to switch this uh, over now to the hanging microphone. This is a Shure MX202. I'm going to turn it up just a little to match its gain. There we go. And uh, this microphone is hanging from the drop uh, tile ceiling. It is approximately four and a half feet, four and seven inches away from me. Um, you can hear now that we're picking up a bit more of the room resonance um, and a little more background noise because we are having to turn that microphone up louder than the microphones that were closer to me. I'm going to switch this over now to the fourth microphone. This is a MX395 from Sure. This is about seven feet and five inches away from me. And you can hear a lot more room ambience. Um, you can hear if you listen carefully, some of the hallway behind me, you can hear some of the people walking by because they are now uh, almost equidistant from that microphone and myself. So again, uh, while there's a door between us, you're, you're starting to pick up more of the building noise and more of the, the noise from rooms around me. You can also hear, a lot uh, again, a lot more resonance. Um, my voice is bouncing around against the walls a lot more than you were with the previous mics. Um, some info information about this room. I'm going to switch this back now to the desk mic. This uh, room is 23 feet by 14 feet by 10 feet tall. And uh, switching now to the boundary mic again. We measured the ambient noise of this room A weighted at 43 decibels and C weighted at 50 decibels. Switching again to the hanging mic. Uh, my, my speaking level we measured, again, A-weighted at 65 decibels uh, average, um, and then C-weighted, switching to the button mic, we measured that ambient talking level at 65, uh, 67 decibels. And we did also, switching back to the gooseneck mic, make a measurement of the uh, reverb time of this room and between the different settings we averaged we would say this room approximately the T60 time would measure at about two seconds um, give or take. Now we've taken this room and we've applied acoustical treatment. These acoustical panels are manufactured by Oralex Acoustics. They measure two by four feet and are one inch thick. They're made out of fiberglass. Um, they are available in other materials that are recycled and, and more e-friendly. With the uh, different panels, we should be cutting down on room resonance. You are currently listening to me through the gooseneck microphone, the MX412. I'm going to switch over to the table microphone, the boundary microphone. This is the MX393, and again, it's uh, cardioid and directional. Um, one of the things you'll also notice in the room with the, uh, the treatments is uh, the ambient noise level should also have come down just a little as it's perceived by the microphones because it's, it's traveling a uh, shorter distance and it's more broken up before it gets there. Now switching to the hanging microphone and this is the MX202 slash C cardioid directional microphone and switching now one final time over to the button microphone in the ceiling this is again the MX395 slash C cardioid. Uh, the cardioid element is pointing at me currently and you can again hear a lot more room resonance in that microphone than you can with the gooseneck, which if we switch back to it, you can now hear me pretty well. Um, there is a 
obviously a, a difference between each of these microphones. One of the disadvantages to using table microphones is when you have an executive who's not really paying attention. On the gooseneck, it's not so bad because it comes over the lip of the microphone, but if we have a boundary microphone and an executive places the computer right in front of it, it does affect the signal. And as we're talking and I remove this, you can see that there is a difference between having something unobstructed versus an obstructed microphone path. So more considerations when building your conference room. Thank you so much for your time. We hope this video was helpful.